Good afternoon, actually. Good evening. A bit later than usual tonight. Just been a busy day. Uh, welcome to my daily, yes, daily Facebook Live. Um, or on YouTube, you'll see the replay. Um, before I get into the introduction of what it's about, let me start with who I am and so you know why you might want to watch. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. Help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. Hi, Joe. Nice to see you here. Um, and I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And a little bit schwitzing because I just got back from riding a bike, so I'm calling down enough to do this. Um, didn't get back as early as I planned. Anyway, welcome to my daily broadcast. This is Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. This is number 344. Yes, I've done a few of these. Almost a year's worth, getting close to that. Um, and topics keep showing up, so I keep talking about these things. And today's topic is another um, red flag advisory. And this actually came out of a post a friend of mine was dealing with, so hopefully I'm going to share it with her later on. Because this is going to be, um, and thanks for joining me, I'm glad to see you here. This is normally a five o'clock broadcast, but I guess later is better because people are showing up. Um, this one actually is from a conversation that a friend of mine had, or I should say a conversation on her wall about this guy she was in a relationship with for a while that in simple terms was a dick. Um, but I'll explain more about what happened in the context about why this man wasn't a real man. So, well, I appreciate, Joe, that you're coming back for the replay. Thank you. I'd love to hear your comments when you do come back and watch the replay. And we need to catch up sometime soon as well. So go do your thing, what you need to, and, okay, and you'll see me later. Um, <laughs> I appreciate the love. All right, getting back onto topic. I think it's time we have a real talk about what men are about. And I should say what men are and what men are not. And, um, yeah, I miss you too. Yeah, we will talk. Maybe a, maybe a Facebook Live or a, or a Skype call or something. So we can see each other because we haven't seen each other in a long time. Anyway, staying on topic. <laughs> I'll see you later, Joe. Um, the context I'm becoming very aware of, there are many women out there who are attracted to men who appear to be really good men. You know, they're buff, they're tough, they're strong, they're well put together, they dress well, they have nice cars, they have a nice house, they have a good job, lots of money. But they're really boys. And this is a massive piece that's missing from most people's understanding. I've talked before about the macho versus the masculine and also the um, un, what, undeveloped and developed masculine, those sort of things. This is on that same theme, but it's more blunt because there are way too many men who are actually boys in men's bodies. They basically stopped growing at the age of 12. They physically may have developed, they may have become mature, they may be in their 30s, 40s, 50s even. But what their behavior, outside of their business or whatever they're doing as their lifestyle, as it were, is very telling. And I'm going to give you for instance in a moment, because this is actually what started this, this thought for me to do this Facebook Live. But I want you to consider this. If you're a woman reading, watching this, you might want to consider what sort of man you're attracting and what sort of man you're looking for. Because there are too many man boys out there who are vying for your attention but they're not there for the long game. They're not there for the real life. They're not there to be a true partner. They're there for what they can get. And i give the example that I, I realize I need to talk about this now. So my friend, who I will not mention by name because this is her, this is about what happened to her, and I want to share this as an example because it's not the first time I've heard this about a woman dealing with something like this. In this particular instance, she was in a relationship with a man who was in his 50s who, without her acknowledgement, her awareness, her truly, with her permission, was still fixated on this 20-something girl he met a long time previously. And even though the, the young girl, young by comparison, I mean, she was, mid, she was mid late 20s, he was in his 50s, um, even though she'd said no, she wasn't interested sexually, he still was pining for her, basically. He was still yearning, hoping he could have it with her. And basically, he was secretly, because he wasn't in line with his, with his partner, my friend, he was still running this thing about maybe one day I'll have her. So he wasn't really with this woman, my friend at all. He was distracted completely and pulled off track. And it's a, it's a symptom of this man-boy piece I want to talk about. Because first of all, he's running, he's basically delusional in the sense, well, I'm not going to say that, but he's out of alignment. He wasn't, what he was holding up for, he wasn't going to get, because once she said no, two, she was, very, she was 30 years younger than him. And even though that could work, in some situations, it seemed this situation wasn't going to happen. And not only that, but he was in a relationship with a woman who was 
in her 40s, at least, which is more appropriate time-wise, one would say. Um, but he was basically cheating on her internally. Even if he wasn't doing externally, he wasn't going out sleeping with another woman. His pull inside, his, his distraction inside, was, was actually demeaning to her. It was disrespectful. And that is red flag worthy, to put it that way. And by the way, if you haven't watched my broadcast this week, I mean, if you watch my broadcast anyway, great. If you haven't watched any of my broadcasts, I'll get to that later. If you haven't watched my broadcast this week, I've done basically, I think this is my sixth one now, fifth or sixth red flag advisory. And this is basically different topics around red flag warnings. And this one particularly is for women about men who aren't stepping up. Um, off the top of my head, I don't remember the other five because <laughs> they went, they came through and they were done. So if you hadn't watched those, please go back and watch those and I'll tell you in a minute how to get to them. But this one today, 344, is about man boys, about men who aren't mature, who don't grow up, who may have all the trappings of, of an adult man, of an adult man, not a mature man, but an adult man, but don't have the behaviours, don't have the thought processes and don't have the heart of a truly mature man. And on top of that layman of, of the boy, the man boy and then the, the mature man, I'm putting the macho versus the masculine man as well because they do overlap a lot of ways so let me break this down a bit more for you and this is a reflection on stuff i talked about before so you may have heard some of these things in my previous topics from months ago but this is reiterating to fit this context a man who's really in his heart and his masculine maturity who's woken up and it's not about age because he could be this way when he's 25 as well as he could be when he's 75 so this is not age based this is maturity based and i want to make sure you get this because man boys oftentimes are 50 or 60 years old, but they're 12 years old inside. And that's not, good, not a good thing. So a mature man, a, a, let me say this another way, a masculine man is a man who is focused on serving something bigger than himself. He's, he's actually in a place where something's calling him to do something in the world that's important. And any relationship he has comes second to that alone. But any relationship he does have is his primary relationship. Um, I'm just realizing I've got to watch something here. For those of you who are in the sex positive and polyamorous community, this may not be relevant to you because I know there are some people who think they can have multiple relationships and it's fine. That's not my wheelhouse and it's not my area of focus and it's not my recommendation because that's not the area of playing. And I'm not saying it's right or wrong, it's just different. So I'm talking about the purely monogamous type structure, which is the whole point. Is monogamous is one-on-one. -on -one. Not one-on-two or one, two-on-one -on -one or any of that stuff. One-on-one. -on -one. That's monogamy. And so when you're in a relationship with somebody, and either, uh, if a lady's in a relationship with a man, and he's not focused on you because he's hiding somewhere else, and it also works the other way around, by the way. If, you're, if, if a man in a relationship with a woman, if a relationship is with you and you're hiding somewhere else too, that gets messed up as well. So either one of these is a distraction from the true monogamous committed relationship that a mature couple, a, um, a woke couple a um, aware couple is what is that surely about and so this man boy behavior that I was talking about she my friend was so um, well I say distressed I didn't see exactly what happened but she certainly was so um, dist um, oh, that was the word this word is in it'll come to me hang on a second bear with me I'll come back to that word um, what well, disappointed is an understatement but she was basically like the rub was pulled out from underneath her she was betrayed. That's the word I was looking for. Betrayed. It was in there. One of those big words, by the way. And her betrayal was because he wasn't loyal to her. He was loyal to somebody else he wasn't even in a relationship with. And that is one of the, one of the symptoms of the man-boy syndrome. I don't know if syndrome is the right word, but it'll do for this conversation. So if you're in a relationship with a man who, first of all, is only in it for the sex, which could be fun for you for a while, but it's not what you really want, that's another man-boy piece. And I did that myself when I was younger, so I definitely know what that was like. And it wasn't very awake or mature or um, wise, ultimately. A man boy also is self-centered, egocentric. So rather than being focused on legacy or making a difference or being out in the world to deliver something to the world in a service, he's in it for what he can get out of it. So when he's running things in the world that make a difference, it's only for what he can get out of it himself. And if you look at some of our government leadership, there's a lot of man boys out there doing this. So just so you get some examples of what, to look, what you're looking at. There's a lack of wisdom, there's a lack of depth, there's a lack of compassion and caring for those around him that indicates a man is not developed. And I'm not saying who, I'm just saying men in general who do this. So this 
piece I want to give you is really, and I'm not going to get too deep into that one because what I really want to say is this. Ladies, when you're looking for a relationship, watch, you don't get focused on the packaging. There's, okay, I'm going to go here. <laughs> one of my dear friends, Lisa Nichols, has a quote about how relationships are um, presents, rift in, uh, presents wrapped in sandpaper. And sometimes we get a box or a bag of crap that's wrapped in gold foil. So it works both ways. So true relationships can be challenging because they have this wonderful gift inside, but they can really be challenging. But the, cha- but the other side of it as well is you can get an amazing looking package that everything's perfect, but once you open up and get inside, it's crap. That's another man-boy indication, by the way. So again, you might meet a man who appears to have it all together. They've got the lifestyle, they've got the money, they've got the, the, the tan. By the way, there are some symptoms you can tell. When somebody, and this is, for, this is women looking at men, so just get the context of this one for this particular talk which is mostly what I talk about, women who are seeking relationship, is a man who has it all together where his, his look is perfect. Like he's been, he goes to tanning salon because the sun is not good enough all the time. He's going to the gym to look good in the mirror, not to actually be healthy. And there are men out there at the gym that do that. I've seen men at Gold's like that when I used to go regularly. He has all these um, accoutrements and um, accessories to make him look like he's really got it together. But those are like kids' toys. Like, look at me, look at me, look at me, look how good I am. And it's, it's bullshit. It's not maturity. There are men I know and are women I know in healthy relationships with men who are like this way, who are very deep in their calling and service to work, where they actually don't have much in the way of possessions. They take care of themselves, yeah, absolutely, because it's part of our requirement. Because as a mature, as a um, masculine-driven, purpose-driven man, I need to take care of myself because I have a purpose to deliver, which if I'm not healthy, I can't do. So I'll do the best to take care of myself for that purpose, not for me to go look at me how pretty I am. I wouldn't do that anyway. <laughs> but reality is that this focus on self-care is towards a goal, not towards a selfishness. I think you can hear my delineation pretty clearly. I'm really making this simple. I intend to do so you know what you're looking for. So this can be subtle too. And to be honest, I would say that some of these behaviors like narcissism are tied into the man-boy syndrome as well, or vice versa. But there's a lot of that in there too. So ladies, when you're looking for love, be really clear that what you're looking for first is the qualities of your partner. Yes, it's nice to look for the certain, like he's got to be three inches taller than you and he's got to be big and carry you and all these different things. That's great. But second to the internal qualities. And it sounds so simple to say that, but so many people I know don't focus on that first. They focus on the package. And again, the gold foil could be wrapping up bullshit. So, or dog crap or whatever. So just be aware that when you're looking at relationship, it's that focus. Are you focusing on the package or the gift wrap? I hope you got your thinking on that one. So if you're single, um, I will will say this way. If you're single, I would highly recommend you you take some time to write down what sort of qualities you want in a relationship. If you're looking for a partnership that's going to be amazing and fruitful, in fact, women and men can do this, is what qualities you want in your partner and qualities that together. Before you do anything else about the looks, the packaging, the, um, the lifestyle, that sort of stuff, because that's secondary. Because another thing is that nine times out of 10, well, I wasn't necessarily numbers, but the truth is that if a tragedy happens or a change of status happens dramatically, someone who's living based on their lifestyle will collapse and go through depression. A person who's living through their internal guidance and they're living on the inner quality of the feelings may feel grief about losing what they had but they're not dependent upon it because their life is not based upon what they have, it's about who they are. And that is a massive difference between the man boy and the mature man. That I think should give you some guidance. Um, so as I mentioned, homework. So, because I do give homework every time I do this broadcast pretty much. If you're some lady looking for love in all the wrong places, uh, first of all, I can give you some help with that. I'll get to that in a second. But second is the homework, is to be willing to look down at your list of what you have qualities. If you, if you have a vision board or if you have a list of things you want in a relationship, And make sure the top ones, the focus ones, the primary ones, are the qualities of the relationship and the qualities of the man. Not necessarily what he looks like or what he has. So it's the beingness, not the having, is the key. The piece I want to tell you is if you are looking for love and you have some challenges in this area, I do offer in all my broadcasts so you can look at, you can find it, if you want to get one of these yourself, a complimentary clarity conversation, my gift to you. It's a 30 minute conversation where I can help you get some clarity, some directions, some focus on where you want to go. My gift to you, you can simply get that by going to my website, which is barryselby.com. That's my name, barryselby.com. 
and click on the Let's Chat button. Or basically, you can go to barrysilvey.com forward slash chat. That works as well. And sign up for a discovery session. As I mentioned, this is one of, the, one of a, a series of 344 broadcasts so far. But the last six, five or six, including this one, are red flag advisories. So I recommend you watch those at least, which is this last week. So that was number three. Was it 344? Three, three, two, one, zero. So 339 to 344, a broadcast I recommend you look. And you can find those, if you're looking for those, on my business page more easily. Because my personal page has other stuff. But on my business page, which is barryservey.org, you can find all my broadcasts from newest to oldest. And if you're watching this on YouTube in the replay, because we also end up, you can find this on my business, sorry, on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine. And they do end up on my website, but I'm, I'm going to revamp that much, because right now I've got 343 broadcasts on one page, and that's a lot of loading time, so I wouldn't recommend going there to look at them. If you want help in the area of love and relationships, that's my job, that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. Um, you've got your homework, you've got something to think about, and if you have any questions, comments on this broadcast, please put them below. If you feel like you want to share this with somebody you know, please feel free to share this out there. And again, you know where to find me if you want some help. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you again tomorrow with number 346. No, 345, excuse me. I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe another red flag advisory. We'll see. Take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.